graphs are everywhere. With so many different types of graphs, How do you know which one to choose? By understanding the different types of graphs, you'll be able to choose which graph is best for you in no time. Picking the right graph can help us better understand our data by allowing us to find trends, so it's very important that we know which one is best. Here's a data table comparing the silvery marmoset monkey and the squirrel monkey in different behaviors. While it's clear we can see the different behaviors that are being measured, we still can't really see if there's any pattern or trend between the silvery marmoset and the squirrel monkey because it's just a bunch of numbers in a table. Hopefully after reviewing the three different types of graphs, we'll be able to find the best graph for this data table. First type of graph are line graphs, which are used to track changes over time. Here we have a data table showing temperature in New York City over a six day period. The line graph is best for this type of data table because we can clearly see how the temperature increased and decreased over the six day period in one easy graph. Pie charts are another type of graph used to compare parts of a whole. Here we have a student's data table showing the habitat usage of squirrel monkeys in a one hour period, showing which zone they were in during the hour. Pie graph is best for this data table because we can see how much time in one hour the animals spent in different parts of the habitat. And finally, bar graphs are used to compare data between different groups or categories. For this data table, we're not only comparing different uh, activities of the savakas, but we're also comparing the adults and the juveniles. So a double bar graph would be best for this data table. Now let's go back to our original data table. We know that we're not comparing changes over time and we're not showing the parts of a whole. We're definitely comparing two different types of monkeys and in different categories. So which graph would be best for this data table? If you guessed double bar graph, you were correct. We're comparing not only the activities, but we're also comparing the two different types of monkeys. So bar graph wins. So to wrap up, For changes over time, make sure you use a line graph, like this one, to compare different categories, use a bar graph, like this one. And finally, to compare slices of a whole, make a pie chart like this one. Happy graphing, everybody.